A little black boy by the name of Tamir was shot and killed by an Ohio white police officer. A neighbor saw an innocent little Tamir and thought he was a threat because he had a toy gun. Isn't that a shame? Our black boys can't even play cops and robbers in our own backyards anymore. Remember his name. Or how about Trayvon Martin? He was walking from the corner store a couple blocks from his home, and a stranger saw him as a threat with only a bag of Skittles and an Arizona. The man wrestled him down and shot and killed him. Remember his name. We have to dissect the problem and we have to talk about it so our little black boys and black men can heal. Let's get to the root of the problem, shall we? I'm talking about the broken homes of our black children. I'm talking about these black babies with no daddies who grow up to be daddies just to leave their babies. Why is this a problem? What is going on with the family structure in 2023? Can anyone give me a definite answer to these questions? Well, today we're going to expose the black household. The middle class has become much harder since the 1960s when a Great Depression occurred and inflation came. What do you think got left behind? Who do you think got left behind? Who do you think got left out of all the jo jobs that dried up? Those who were the least educated and the most discriminated against. In the first place, young black men. Martin Luther King said if we don't take a deeper look at our past, history is bound to repeat itself. Unfortunately, in the streets, it's eat or be eaten. So that means the effect of the downward spiral of jobs plummeted back in the day. It resulted in a massive crime wave started in the late 60s that peaked in the 90s. This peaked with a murder rate of nearly 10 homicides per 100,000 Americans. Unfortunately, most of all were black men. We have to dissect the problem and we have to talk about it so our little black boys and black men can heal. Lastly, our black men are always at odds with each other. Do I have to bring up the hip hop beef? Tupac and Biggie, Jay-Z and Nas, Drake and Meek Mill, Megan the Stallion and Tory Lanez. When will all of this end? Finally, Suge Knight, enough said. Enough said. Our men are always at odds with each other, and this needs to stop. And they need to stop, talk, hug, and heal. Because we have to dissect the problem, and we have to talk about it so our little black boys and black men can heal. I want to thank each and every one of you for listening to me. And just know, if I have not made my point clear about the healing of black men, then I will leave off with this then. We have to dissect the problem and we have to talk about it. So our little black boys and black men can heal. Thank you.